Hi. Hi, my name is Andy Kordeski, and I'm with the Cellar Masters of Los Angeles Home Winemaking Club. And uh, it's the, it's the uh, middle of April, and this is a video about shoot thinning in the vineyard. And so what I will do is just uh, show you how I shoot thin, uh, shoot thin this vine. As you can see, this vine is a bilateral uh, cordon vine. So there's a trunk and two lateral cordons on either side. And, uh, and on each of those cordons, there should be six spurs. And um, from each of those spurs, there should be two shoots. And so as we, the basis, of course, of all vineyards is that this year's fruit grows on shoots that are growing from last year's wood. So all of the fruit that's growing this year will grow from shoots, those green shoots that are growing from last year's wood and all of last year, and all of the, um, all of the spur positions are last year's wood. So let's just uh, go through each, uh, each position and, and I'll just go through my decision making with me. So we can start here. Hopefully you can see this, but there are uh, three shoots coming out of the spur. One of the problems is that if you let this, one of the problems is that if you continue to leave a space between the previous year's wood and this year's wood when you're making your spurs, that these spurs will get very tall. You'll get a, a what I call elephant ant, uh, excuse me, I get deer antlers, which end up being about this tall or even this tall sometimes, and that that um, that's just it's ugly, but it also just takes away from the space. Uh, I usually prune when my uh, vines get above the top wire, and if a foot of that distance is taken up with a with a deer antler, then it, it's not really gonna uh, it's not really gonna give the um, the shoots enough room to to get long enough. And so I'm kind of debating on this particular one. Uh, this is such a beautiful shoot and will certainly have a lot of fruit on it. But I also have a shoot growing here, which is where it should be growing from that basal cell. And, um, and it will also grow fruit. So I'm going to go ahead and just take this top one off. And so now we have what we have. Uh, we have, oh, and if you can see behind here, there's another shoot that is coming off of wood that's uh, somewhat old, two or three years old. And so we take that away, and so now we have a very nice two-shoot spur position. All right, now let's move on to this next spur position. Very quickly, I can see that this doesn't need to be here, and this is actually uh, doesn't need to be there either. This is like sort of a double shoot coming out of one position, so we get rid of it. And here's another one that we don't need, this little one. And I can see one underneath. Uh, let's see if I can see that right here. Get that away. And here's another one over here. Get that away. So now we have a spur position with two shoots. And now let's move on to the next spur position. And yeah, there are two. There are only two shoots growing from that spur position. So we'll just leave that as it is. However, underneath, I see some. Uh, I see some. Uh, shoots coming off the bottom of the vine, so I'll get rid of those. And now we'll move on to the next spur position. And looking up in there, yep, yeah, so there is an extra shoot growing on this one, so we'll pull that away. And the rest of it looks pretty good. Two shoots on that, on that spur. And then looking down here, Clearly there, is a, clearly there is a shoot coming off the bottom, with which, which we don't need. There's another small one over here, which we don't need. Um, this is a little uh, shoot that is not necessary. And then on the, uh, on the spur itself, there is the one shoot, and here's the second shoot. This one's growing off of last year's wood, so we'll get rid of that. Next year we'll use this as a spur position. Now moving on to the next spur position uh, you can see that this is a small and unnecessary shoot here so we pull it off here's a bud that's starting to burst so we'll get rid of that looking on this side I can see that uh, there are two shoots right here so we'll get rid of 
the small one and actually there's three shoots there's one behind so we'll get rid of that one as well so now we have a spur position with two shoots now we're moving on to the next spur position quickly see that there's uh, shoots growing all over this thing that really don't belong on it um, so we're going to get rid of all of those and we are left with uh, two two shoots on that spur position just as we like it and moving on to the next one uh, looking down at the base here you can see that there are what there are one two there are a bunch growing here that really don't belong uh, this is the let's see so what we're gonna do is get rid of this one because that looks like it's not really in the right spot and then moving on to the next spur position this actually looks pretty good this one right this one right here growing from the bottom I'm just going to take it, and then there's a little button at the top. Get rid of that as well. As you can see, this this little bud uh, is growing shoot, but it's not really that big. Um, I mean, I'll just leave it because uh, because why not? Moving on, we have this spur position here. There is, and there's one uh, shoot growing from the bottom and one growing from here so that's good but there is an extra over on this side we'll get rid of it then on the next spur position let's see this one needs to go and this one needs to go and there's a triple and that's that spot right in there so that is going and now we have yep so now we have a, a spur position with two shoots and then moving inside looking a little in here this one needs to go leaving two on the spur position and then this is kind of a mess down here uh, but this is my spur position up here so I want to keep that get it rid of all of this uh, I see there's one behind I want to pull that away this one has a double I'll get rid of that double and that's it folks that is how to shoot thin a spur position buying thank you and we'll see you on the next video